I. Recall the exponential notation, where V is the base and N is the exponent or index, but we'll use the term exponent. This notation is defined as repeated multiplication, such that V is multiplied to itself N times and is formally read as V raised to the nth power. Here are some examples showing the definition of integer exponents. Example 1 shows that 2 is multiplied by itself 4 times and gives the result of 16. Example 2 also gives the same result of 16. However, the third example gives the result of negative 16. We should also remember the presentation of parentheses, such as in examples 2 and 3. Since both has different answers, even though the only difference is the presence of parentheses. Also, any base with exponent 0 is always equal to 1, provided that the base is not equal to 0. Take note that anything raised to the first power is itself, and anything raised to the zeroth power is just 1. We now learn that a positive integral exponent indicates the number of times that the base is used as a factor. But what about the negative integral exponents? Like for example, we have the base a raised to the negative 2. We know that exponent is a way of doing repeated multiplication. But can we multiply something together a negative number of times? We can. To interpret a negative exponent, we use this property. a to the negative nth power is equals to 1 divided by a to the nth power. This makes sense, as a negative number is the inverse of its positive counterpart, and division is the inverse operation of multiplication. So a negative exponent is basically repeated division. There are several integer exponent properties that you should keep in mind. This will help you solve algebraic problems that may come in your way in the future. Here are the rules we use for negative exponents. The following rules hold if a and b are non-zero real numbers and n is a positive integer. Let's look at these two properties as a set because they tell us how we can multiply and divide expressions that have the same base. The first property says that if we have the base a with exponent n multiplied by the same base a with exponent m, we can combine them by simply adding the exponents together. The next property says that if we have base a with exponent n being divided by the same base with exponent m, we can combine them simply by subtracting the exponents. But for example, we have a raised to the power of 4 divided by a raised to the power of 11. This will give the result of a raised to the negative 7. We can see that this is similar to the rule of negative exponent. So we can write this as 1 over a raised to m minus n where a is not equal to 0. Another property shows an expression a to the power of n grouped inside parentheses and then the whole group is being raised to the nth power. For example, we have a raised to the 7th power raised to the 3rd power. We can simply write this expression as a raised to the 7 times 3 which is equal to a raised to the 21st power. If you have a number raised to a power and that's all raised to another power, you can just multiply the two exponents together to simplify it. Notice how these pair are similar to the other pair I've introduced. The first one involves multiplication and the second one involves division. But notice also that the bases are different, but the exponents are the same, which is the opposite of what we've seen before. This simply tells about how you can distribute or undistribute a common exponent to a different bases. On the next video, we'll talk about polynomials.